Ladies and gentlemen, what you are about to see is not for the faint of heart. The sounds and images are so horrifying, so ghastly, they almost seem to leap from the screen. Prepare yourselves for Tiger Army 2, Power of Moonlight. When this icon appears, it will signal you to put on your 3D glasses. Be sure and stay tuned for a bonus live performance in three dimensions. Rockabilly music is, at best, it's just a really good recreation, and at worst, it's like parody. And uh, that's one of the things I like about Psychabilly is it's it looks to the future and not to the past. It's primarily based on 50s rock and roll, rockabilly, country music, and of course, good strong kick in the ass from punk rock. Aside from being sort of a subculture in itself and a way of life for a lot of people. It's also very intense, aggressive, let's go out and kick some ass kind of music. Well, Tiger Army started in late 95. We played our first show in 1996 at Gilman Street, opening up for AFI, which Jeff was in at the time. He and I were actually in another band that started before AFI called Influence 13. Basically after that band, I knew Psychobilly was like the musical direction I wanted to go in. Since I started to play drums, I've played in, I don't know, 25 or 30 bands. The one I'm um, most proud of are uh, Sam Hain, um, which was a, a real key element in this band getting together. We all just kind of came to Southern California and hooked up. and. Uh, took it from there. In writing this record, it, it took, took place like over a fairly long period of time. I spent a lot of time by myself, reading a lot, watching movies, listening to records, and just kind of soaking things up. And that's usually when I feel the most inspired. The overall feel of the album is a bit more cohesive. There's a lot more attitude in the songs because we had more time to prepare as a group. Usually when I write, um, I kind of hear the song in my head as it will be when it's recorded. In the Orchard is a song that's really about the place where I grew up. The Orchard is kind of a metaphor for life and death and aging. Soon the summer will be over in the orchard. I'm done. I'm done. The song in Corporeal kind of started for me when I came across the word and H.P. Lovecraft short story, and uh, it means to be without body or form. And the song is basically basically about uh, life, or afterlife, I should say, from the perspective of a ghost. I think there's a lot of things in it that the living can probably relate to. Okay, this song is called Cupid's Victim. It's going to be on the new record. Uh, that song is it's a little more traditional. The chorus is more of like a Buddy Holly kind of thing. I like to stay away from things that would date the record. A timeless kind of thing is what I'm striving for as opposed to something that's going to sound really dated in five years. I'm definitely into like vintage sounds, but um, I'm not a purist. I love rockabilly music. Um, I love the stuff on Sun Records, Charlie Feathers, Johnny Burnett Trio, but to me, no one is ever going to do that style better than those guys. So. It's, it's great to take it as an influence, but if you're not gonna take the music in a new direction, there's no, there's no point to me. We're not trying to be a rockabilly band, and we're not trying to be anything. We're just, we are what we are. We're just psychobilly, and that's it. That's all there is to it.